Letter C. This time we don't have an angle. We've got Z, so that's the angle we're going to use. So we've identified that. We're going to label the triangle. So here's the opposite. Across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, which means that the 28 is the adjacent. And in this particular case, we don't know anything about the opposite. We know nothing about opposite. So when we come back over here and we look at our trig functions, we've got to pick a function that doesn't have opposite in it. Sine has opposite in it, tangent has opposite in it. This means that we need to use cosine. So the cosine of z is going to be the adjacent length, which is 28, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 51. And remember, we have to use the inverse. So it's a little bit different. Um, you have to go to the functions button on Desmos, but when I come over here to the calculator, I'm going to get the inverse button. So there's the inverse button. That's what button you would pick on Desmos. And then we do our 28 divided by 51. And again, now it looks exactly like what Desmos would look like and then we press enter. This is going to give us our angle, and for the angle, we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So we get 56.7, and because it's 0.7 here, that number is 5 or higher, we're going to round our angle to 57 degrees. So Z equals 57 degrees. Letter D, we know the angle again. We're working with the 50 degrees. We're going to come across here, and there's our opposite. Here's our hypotenuse, which means that this is the adjacent. And then we need to look and see which function to use. And we know, again, nothing about the opposite. So as we go back here and we look, sine has opposite in it. We're not going to use it. Tangent has opposite in it. We're not going to use it. We're going to be using cosine. So this is going to be the cosine of 50 equals the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. And when the variable's down, or when the variable's up pi, we're going to multiply. So we're going to cross multiply. So we get 35 times cosine of 50 equals 1 times z. And then what's going to happen is 1 times z is z. So we simply come over here and we would be typing in the same thing that we type into Desmos, which is 35 times cosine of 50. And we get 22.49. When we're finding the side length, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. The 9 is 5 or higher, so we're going to end up with 22.5 for our side length.